So today for this setup guide, I'm going to get you up and running with Redream on your Android device. So Redream is the best Sega Dreamcast emulator around and it's got two options. We've got a free version of this and we've also got a premium version of this which gives you a few added perks. So in this tutorial guide, I'm going to get you up and running how to import your games into the emulator for Android itself and also play about with some video settings to get you the best performance. So check this video out. <laughs> Okay, so before I start this video today, if you like what you see, just hit notifications and subscribe. It gets you Android content and various other front-end emulation content that I upload. So let's get into this. Dreamcast Redream, it's a free emulator. And what we're going to do, we can download this from the website. And that's going to take us to the Google Play. So all we do from here is just hit install and we just wait for this one to install and it shouldn't take too long. And the great thing about Redream is that we don't require any BIOS files at all. Everything's self-contained and it's pretty much ready to go. It's just a case of installing it and then loading your games onto it. And for geeks like me, I like playing with video settings to get max performance. So I've covered Redream as a standalone emulator on my channel. I've also covered it alongside HD texture packs on different platforms such as Retrobat. So this is it, we've now installed it. All we're gonna do from here is just open up the app and this is gonna open up the UI for you. So you've got option here to upgrade to premium like I was mentioning just now. So if you upgrade to premium, you'll get the highest resolution possible. And trust me, these games look stunning in the highest resolution. But for this setup guide, I'm going to just continue in light mode. So next up, we have got the interface now. So it's asking us to go to the library and import our games. And as we can see, it's going to accept .cdi, .chd, and .gdi file extensions. Now, the best solution around this, if you want to save space on your Android device, is converting your games into .chd. .chd is a compressed file extension or rather format which is going to save you a lot of space on your device your hard drive or whatever you're using so let's go into this i'm going to go to go to library and i'm going to add directory and now this is the point where you need to locate your games which are on your android device so i'm going to just look for mine and I've got Crazy Taxi for the setup guide, which I've used multiple times on my channel. So I'm going to use this folder and we're going to allow Redream to access files in crazytaxi.zip and press allow. And what we're going to do next, now we put that into place, I'm going to just go to games and here's my Crazy Taxi game. So first things first, let's boot up the game and see if this functions how it should do. So I'm going to just press on the game. And we've got an instant loading game. Very cool stuff. Hey, hey, come on over. Have some fun with crazy tax. It's party time. Let's have some fun. All right. Let's go make some crazy money. Go ahead and pick a car and drive. Absolutely. All right, let's get it on. Hey, hey, hey. It's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. And as we can see, that's running perfectly. So we got the four by three aspect ratio, which is to be expected from that era of games. 
And to exit that game, what I did is just swiped and there's three vertical dots and just press on those and you'll come into this option window just here. So let's play around with the video settings first. If we go to the top just here, you're going to find video. So first things first, you will notice if you don't upgrade to the premium version of Redream, uh, there will be options which you won't be able to change. So just be aware of that. So if we go to aspect ratio first, and I always enjoy putting my games into different sizes this just to experiment so we got that done and obviously we want vertical sync enabled to on uh, this is going to get rid of any screen terror that a 3d games might come across so let's just set that to on we can also change the region of our game. So, for example, if you've got a power game, a British game rather, uh, and it doesn't work, then it quite likely you'll just need to go to region and set this to Europe or whatever region your game is for. And if we go down to broadcast just here, we got a few different options. So your broadcast is going to give you different speeds and that type of thing. So for example, a power game will run slightly slower than that of an NTSC broadcast. And if we go down another option to cable, we got different options here to choose how the game looks. So RGB, cable, connection, rather composite. We've got VGA and RGB. Personally, I like to speak with RGB. And if we just go over to input just here and go to port A, if we go to input device, you're obviously going to want to keep this on touchpad like I was just doing. But if you want to attach a keyboard to this somewhere or another, you can actually select keyboards. And some games on Dreamcast, not too many, do require keyboards such as Typing of the Dead, I believe. Uh, and if we go to device type just here, we can actually set what it's emulating. So rather than connecting a keyboard, we can device type to keyboard. And if we go back to input device, touchpad, that is now going to set up an emulated keyboard for your keyboard games. So next thing we're going to do is go to customize touchpad. And from here, we got several different options. If we go to scale at the top, we can make things bigger if that's what you want. And it's just a case of really getting the scale of the size you want for your buttons. So sometimes using these virtual joysticks, they're a little bit messy to, to configure and they're a little bit hard to use uh, to begin with. But we got the scale option there to make things bigger or smaller if that's what you want. And if I touch on each individual button, you can actually customize these buttons to wherever you want. So if you want to play a game in 16 by 9 and you find these buttons are in the way, then just go to the this tab just here and just play around with these buttons so you can get them out of the way a little bit and obviously we want to save and exit once you set these customs up and if we move over to the saves tab we've also got a section here which is telling us how much memory we got or it's the dreamcast referred to it as blocks and I'm going to just briefly take you back to the Redream website. If we go into our compatibility just here, it's going to tell us how many games are playable, uh, what game starts. So you can see by green just here under playable that 96.14% of Dreamcast games actually run perfectly fine. There are a few games which will start up but not going to get you very far. But largely, Redream has been in process of development pretty much for years now. And we got a good catalog of games here to play spanning across different regions as you can see from japan to european to american so there is a lot to play on redream and i totally recommend it so like i said at the beginning if you're new to my channel hit notifications check out my other android emulation setups i've done pp and i also done dolphin gamecube edition the other day so that is really cool and if you're really into it I've done a ton of content on front-end setups for Windows, such as Retrobat, Retroarch, Launchbox, Batacera, and I've got lots and lots of microcomputer standalone emulators, as well as console emulators. Follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.